FIFA's motto is, for the game, for the world. But after these latest revelations, it might as well be, for the money. Sepp Blatter has long been accused of profiteering from football, allegations he's always denied, but he's going to have a hard job explaining these latest ones. Because the law firm, hired by FIFA to investigate Blatter's regime, today went public and pointed the finger at three men. Let's go FIFA! Let's Sepp Blatter go FIFA. himself, Thank FIFA's you. president for 17 so years, Jerome Valka, the former secretary-general who was sacked in January, and Marcus Kapner, a former finance director, sacked just last month. The three former FIFA officials received payments totalling £55 million over the last five years. It included huge bonuses. For example, for the 2014 World Cup in Brazil, Blatter received a bonus of nearly £8.5 million. Valka received £7 million. And Katner, almost £3 million. Blatter's lawyers say he's innocent, but even his former allies have now given up on him. In one way, I was very much surprised because the Volcano FIFA is exploding now. In another way, I was not at all surprised because in the last 15 months, I heard so many rumors about big money rolling around and inside FIFA that uh, somehow it became confirmed now. The investigators say Valka and the others also tried to enrich themselves with backdated salary increases and even giant payments for losing their jobs. And in Mr. Katner's office, they allegedly found handwritten contracts stored in a safe. But some question whether this is the work of just three men. I find it very difficult to believe there's no audit or legality contract agreements that that payment can get out of this account. It, it, it's for me kind of, um, I can't believe it. The accused may argue they made fee for money, so they're worth the payments. But there's also now a suggestion some of the contracts may have broken Swiss law, and that could be the crucial factor in this latest scandal. Ian Payne, News at 10.